glad to be back. Two videos in one week, it is going to keep coming. Back full time, making content in the shop, working on cars, and let's get right into what we have going on today. So shop truck. Shop truck is a huge deal for me. I need a truck, I need a vehicle where I can go back and forth picking up parts, picking up wood. I'm still working on building things in the shop and I need a truck. For example, I need to go get an air compressor. That's something that I need a truck for. I mean, there's a million reasons why you need a truck. So speaking of this truck, what it is, or what I hope to be buying, is a 1968 Ford F350. And I've been talking back and forth with the guy and what he has explained to me is it seemed like he's done all the stuff that I don't wanna do. He put a brand new gas tank in it, bled all the brakes, did all the brakes, made sure that it runs and drives. He also put an electric choke carburetor on it that he just said he got for cheap, but he says it runs and drives flawlessly. For a 1968, I'm a little bit skeptical. Let's just go take a look. And you guys requested it. Let's bring those Bodie Vision intros back. And now, you're watching the unfortunate event that is your stepsister stuck in the dryer situation channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Man, dude, so we picked it up. I got it. I got it for a steal. I'll be full transparent with you. Well, I don't care. What do I got to lose? And so the guy was asking $6,000 for the truck. And I always have my game face on. I like the truck. I would have went 555 on it. But I told him, I said, look, man, I'll, I'll take it for four or I'm gone. He said, let's do four. So we got it for four. It's starting to rain right now. No windshield wipers. And what this is, it's just a straight six. It's a 300 straight six with a four speed behind it. Real simple, nothing to it, no AC. Simple, good truck. It's starting to rain a little bit. Once we get back to the house, I'll do a little bit of a walk around and I'll show you. Been driving for about 45 minutes with no problem. What this is, is I believe the guy, or the way that I'm looking at it, is I like to think he did a lot of the work for me to get it running. And I'm just gonna take it aesthetically from here because that's what I do. So this should be a good truck. And for $4,000 for something cool, I cannot complain. She's a beauty, dude. You see her? Really cool. So the plan is right now, I've already been going through it a little bit. I went ahead and made sure all of the lights are working, had my dad help me out as well. So all the lights are good. We just did the bare basic necessities for what a vehicle would need because the truck was not road ready, but it's road ready now. So the plan is I'm gonna use it for a couple months here as a tool. I might do a couple things here or there, but ultimately in the end, after I get a couple projects under my belt, I gotta finish the Accord. I wanna do some customer cars, maybe a couple flip car projects just to get my money up, get the business going. And once I'm doing that, the plan is to fully tear this truck down. I wanna get the thing slammed on the ground, dragging frame, don't quote me on that, but that's what I would like to do. Full paint job, I might do it something patina style. A little bit similar to what I did on the Ranchero that I did, but I would take a completely different approach. What I'd like to do is leave the top kind of patinaed, do the sides like a teal, blue, green, make it look really nice in that way. Why's my camera so dark right here? There we go. So I'd make it look really nice in that sense and make it scream Bodie Vision. We're gonna put logos all over it, put branding all over it. Just make it look really good. Brightness is all over the place. I just wanna make it look good, have fun, and that's exactly what this truck is.
now that we have the truck back at the house, I could not be more excited for it. My first plan is, and the first thing that I want to do, it's going to be relatively inexpensive and it makes the most sense for what I need. I want to build some type of a bedside. Now I want to make this bedside out of wood, but I got to be careful because I don't want it to look like an old hay or an old farm truck where the wooden bedsides just come way above the roof. I don't think that looks good. So what I'm thinking is I want to run two boards from the cab towards the back bumper. But when I get like 90% of the way there or almost all the way towards the back bumper, I want that top board to kind of taper off and curl down and then around the back just have it one board. So the sides are going to be a little bit taller, the back is going to be a little bit shorter, the cab is going to have two layers, the back is going to have just one board. I'm going to go ahead and use some really nice carriage bolts. I think that looks old school. And then I'm going to burn the wood. I'll show you how I do that. That gives it a really nice look. Once it gets burned, we're going to have to clear coat it or cover it with some kind of a spar varnish or a clear or something along the lines. But let's just get right into it, start working, see if I can't come up with something that looks pretty cool. And this pretty cool is also necessary. I feel like you need bedsides. All right, so we're just going to get after it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these two by fours, cutting them to length. My father's going to be ripping them. And the reason why we gotta rip them is because where these two by fours are going, I was assuming they would fit in the bed just like how they fit on a dump trailer or any other trailer for that matter. But with this truck being a little older, maybe that's not the case. So as you can see, we're dropping them down. They fit pretty good once they're ripped. And if we went with a two by three, that would have been too small. So we had to rip a two by four. So I'm just gonna go ahead, place them all in there, see how they look, kind of get an idea of what direction I wanna go. And then I'm gonna go back, focus on getting them down and then make sure they're all the exact same height. So my first thought was I wanted them to come up about 14 inches or so. And I was using that back window for reference to see where I wanted to be. Once it was the height that I wanted, or more so where I thought I wanted because I actually ended up going a little bit shorter, we used our speed square to make sure everything was nice and straight, 90 degrees. And I also drove a self-tapping screw through the metal into the two x four, so that's looking really good. Now that one in the very back, that one in the very back is only gonna be one layer high, so we ended up having to cut that one down because there's not gonna be two boards there. So with a project like this, we're kind of just approaching it in a way of, we're gonna have to figure it out as we go and kind of figure out exactly what we need. So here we're placing in the board, obviously that closer to the cab board. There's gonna be two of those boards the exact same height. And then we work our way to the tailgate. So the tailgate, we're not actually screwing it into the metal part of the bed itself. That's just gonna be a lift out piece. I was thinking about putting it on a hinge, but aesthetically I wanted it to look like the rest of the truck. So as you can see, we just ripped it out and it's looking really good. Now we're gonna start to work on that second board. Now, we're not gonna do that curved down cut that I was talking about earlier until the very end, until we get the board exactly where we want it, but where it is, it's looking pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with that. So now, as you can see, I wanna get my radius. So I wanted this to be a perfect quarter of a circle. That's what I figured, so my height, or where I went to is the exact distance of the board. Then I tied it onto that screw, screwed that screw into the board, and then I just drove my Sharpie down to where it becomes 90 degrees over, meaning it's a perfect quarter of a circle. Then I just take the jigsaw, follow that line nice and steady, and it came out really good. That's exactly what I wanted. I was thinking about making a third layer, but looking at it, I think it looks good. I don't want it to be too tall and that's a nice tight radius looking really good. And for this side, I'm doing the exact same process just to make sure that we take that extra time to make sure the driver's side is gonna match perfectly with the passenger side. So as of right now, the truck is definitely looking good, but one thing that I don't like about it is if you take a look, it just looks like, it just looks like we went to Home Depot, slapped some wood on it and put it together and sent it on its way because that's exactly what we did and I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look a little bit old and I want it to fit the truck a little bit more. So the way that I'm gonna address this or the way that I'm gonna make it look a lot better is by actually burning the sides. Now, if you're not familiar with what that looks like, when we burn it, you're gonna see the wood grain a lot more. And I'll just do a little section right here before I throw on the time lapse so that way you can see what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna do the entire thing and you're gonna see how it all comes together. And the sun's going down, getting a little cool out, feeling really good outside. Feeling really good about the truck. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm feeling good to be back. This is just a standard little torch. Let me see.
So as you can see, that looks pretty good. It brings out the grain and it looks, it gives it kind of an older look. I'm gonna go around all the edges, do the entire thing, throw it on a time lapse so that way it's not such a long, slow process for you. And man, this truck for having it just a couple days now, I could not be more happy with it. As you can see now, that is the look that we're going for. That's exactly how I wanted it to look. I think it looks less like we literally just threw it together like we did. And it has a nice finish to it. Now with something like this with the burn, we gotta be careful because it will fade unless you seal it. You gotta seal it with some type of a clear coat. Now I don't know exactly what I'm going to use to clear it. I don't believe it's gonna be any kind of automotive clear. I gotta look into what type of wood clear would be best for this. And I don't really gotta look into it. I just gotta go get some type of clear coat to put over this. And that burn should actually seal in the surface pretty good as well, but I wanna clear it to preserve the look. So this truck, man, this truck, I'm happy with it. Like I said, we're going to be doing a lot more to the truck in the future, but I wanna get some stuff done first. So little projects here and there, get all my stuff done, then we're gonna go all out on this thing eventually. So as of right now, I think we made some really good progress all week. I've been working on getting the shop turnkey ready and we are about there. The compressor's done, 220's done for my welder. I'm getting all kind of shelves made, all kind of tool storage, everything set up. I have all my signs going up in the next couple of days. We got the driveway done in the last video. Bodhi Vision is moving forward. The shop is moving forward progress is moving forward everything from here on out is only going to be better we're only going up and up now in the next video i don't know exactly what that's going to be but i do know i will be posting that really soon because i'm back at it full time so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think about the shop truck the burning of the wood everything run those likes up like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff you know what it is youtube i will see you on the next one i'm out